Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Randall Hunt, Senior Technical Evangelist at AWS, and I'll be filling in for Jeff Barr this week. There are a lot of great launches to cover, so let's jump right in. First up, AWS Ground Station is now generally available. This is a service that lets you communicate with satellites in low Earth orbit and medium Earth orbit across a number of different radio frequencies and download that data directly into an AWS region for processing. Hopping over to the databases side, in the relational world, we launched the data API for Aurora Serverless, which lets us make SQL queries over a secure HTTPS endpoint. With built-in connection pooling, integration with Secrets Manager for database credentials, and a familiar JSON API, this should enable a lot of serverless applications to access traditional MySQL databases without exhausting connections. This API is provided at no additional charge. In the NoSQL world, Amazon DynamoDB Adaptive Capacity is now instant. Back in August of 2018, we launched Adaptive Capacity for DynamoDB, which allowed individual DynamoDB partitions to exceed their provisioned read or write throughput. Prior to this update, those changes took between 5 and 30 minutes to apply, but now they apply instantly. If this helps your workloads, please let me and the team know. Finally, one quick update from storage. Coordinated, point-in-time, crash-consistent snapshots across multiple EBS volumes. I cannot count the number of times this feature would have saved me back when I was a customer of AWS, and I'm excited to see people who run multiple volumes take advantage of it. These are just some of the exciting launches from the past few weeks. For the full list, check the website. Thanks for watching. I'd love it if you gave me a follow on Twitter, at JRHunt, and let me know if you're using any of these new features. See you next time.